Now the Rode Pro configuration for theatre. It's not an exacting science. You are going to get humming in the background. You need to switch it on and put it to high pass filter. Set underneath to minus 10. And then go into the settings on the device. Go to sound recording. And in my experience, the middle is the best. Don't go beyond 50%. You will get humming, but there's a balance between the humming and by reducing it down, you'll get less humming based on this configuration and this camera. You'll get less humming, but you will get less volume. So you might not be able to hear the, uh, the characters on the stage. So there's a balance in between those, which you could possibly do post editing in reducing that humming sound. So leave it at that. And switch off the wind attenuated, uh, wind filter and wind attenuator. So that's that. Next is the focus. So zoom in to focus. Now it's already focused here, but zoom in. And you may not be able to see it, but it is focused. So if it's out of focus, it's going to be like that. Zoom in until you see that red flush, which indicates that it's focused. Then zoom back out and get somebody to go on the stage, get them to go on this, go on to the various points on the stage and see if they're still in focus when you zoom in. And that's basically that. Now, another aspect is depending on the lighting, if it's in bright daylight, you may need to adjust, get them to pull up the lights in the day, just to adjust the, um, the various uh, aperture and focus and focal point and ISO and so forth on the camera. I've set my ISO to auto, which is something less to worry about. And if you want to change it in, in the actual play, which is not advisable, but if it is a drastic requirement, you can use the scroll bar to change. Now you can see there, there's white lights popped up. So if I go back out, now I know the threshold. If I want to change what the scroll bar does, because you can see the scroll bar is there, it's focused in on this. If I want to change it to scroll for the F, I simply press, I'll bring it over here, I press this button here, and now you can see the scroll bar changing. If I press it again, it goes on to the other, and it goes back. So that's, if you want to change any of those, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, in terms of uh, when you're filming and you're zooming in, you loosen this if you want to. F if you want to zoom in, loosen, and make sure you're holding the actual handle. So when it's loosened, then you can zoom in slowly, very, very slowly. And when you get to a point. And it's going to be zoomed in for quite some time. You can tighten it again. I wouldn't advise it because usually the zoom is only for a few seconds before something else happens on the stage. And then slowly zoom back out again. If it's going to be that or if it's dramatic, just zoom back out if somebody dramatically pops on the stage and then tighten again accordingly. So again, this is an important this change. This, is, this adjusts the up and down motion. And this adjusts the left and right. Um, you can leave that loose as possible, but this is the main one here, which is the vertical vertical um, movement. And that is important to ensure that you have a smooth a smooth zoom and so forth without having jitters and then you tighten, you just tighten like that. Thank you for watching.